Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I want to talk to you today about the difference between turmeric, the actual spice, and curcumin, which is considered to be the active ingredient in turmeric. Well, what we do in the West really well is we find a plant and we say, ah, oh, what is the active chemical in that plant? Pull it out and make a drug or a super potent isolated extract of that plant and give it as a more potent version of the plant. And what this article and video is about is to show you that the science actually shows that the whole plant in many cases is significantly more potent. And in the case of turmeric, that is exactly the case. For example, what they did was they took the curcumin and they took it out of the turmeric. And then they measured it and they found out that the actual turmeric compared to the curcumin was actually significantly more potent to support healthy blood sugar levels, um, healthy inflammation levels, and also healthy cell re replication. So when they took the curcumin out, the other 300 constituents in turmeric really came to life and boosted health in significant ways that they didn't understand before. When you take turmeric and you look at the turmeric, there are essential fatty acids in turmeric that have an ability to boost the bioavailability of turmeric by seven to eight percent. Ayurvedic medicine knew this thousands of years ago and they would take turmeric and add it and mix it into a paste with ghee. And what the fatty acids do and what the ghee does is it actually blocks or slows the liver's ability to break down the turmeric and excrete the extracts or the ingredients or constituents in the turmeric, allowing the active ingredients to linger in the bloodstream longer. So what they figured out a long time ago is if you add it with a little bit of fat, it boosts the, the bioavailable, the bioavailability. And even maybe more potent, way more potent than that was when they figured out if they make curry and they had turmeric and black pepper and other spices, particularly the black pepper, that it actually boosted the act, the bioavailability of the turmeric by a whopping 2,000%. And that, they did a study, they took the purpurine, which is one of the active ingredients of the, of the turmeric, and they took the curcumin, and they put those two together, and boom, they had this major... Uh, boost of absorption by like 2,000%. But they actually had similar results when they just took plain old turmeric and plain old black pepper and put it together, which is what Ayurvedic medicine did for thousands upon thousands of years. And in many studies, they found that the actual turmeric and the black pepper actually outperformed the, the extracts of the turmeric and the extract of the black pepper. And you can read the article and look at some of the science behind that. I think it's pretty amazing. Um, when they took, uh, again, numerous studies showing that when they took the curcumin, it's just the one active ingredient, and they took a, a whole herb extract, a full spectrum extract, they found that the turmeric actually was two times as more potent for immunity, was two times, had two times as many antioxidants. And when they found, um, uh, with related to brain plaque and accumulation of brain plaque, turmeric is one of those herbs that are known to actually help you know, detoxify the brain and support brain health and block some of the, the plaque accumulating in the brain. With the curcumins, and the curcuminoids had zero effect on helping to inhibit the accumulation of plaque in the brain, while the whole herb and all the other constituents significantly inhibited the accumulation of the plaque in the brain. Again, once again, suggesting that turmeric, the whole herb, the whole plant had intelligence and maybe the most important and unsung power of all whole herbs are the microbes that come from the soil. The soil is attracted, my soil microbes are attracted to specific plants. The microbes in the soil change from season to season. They're attracted to certain herbs in season. And when you eat those herbs, you get those microbes. And those microbes are not only supporting our microbiome, new and changing for that season, but they're also supporting the biochemistry of that plant. And whole herbs compared to extracted herbs which are soaked in, in, in uh, food grade alcohol to extract the, the active ingredients and extract the herb, 
the whole herb, the whole plant has a thousand times more microbes. So potentially a thousand times more intelligent. And this research is just beginning to be understood. So, you know, most people know about turmeric. Most people know about curative curcumin. And most people probably take curcumin thinking it's better and more potent. Well, the science shows that the whole herb with all those 300 constituents actually are more potent. And what you're going to find, I'm going to write more and more articles about this and showing more science, is that most herbs, and that's what we use at LiveSpot, are just the whole herb, organic, with all the bugs on it to support the intelligence. So the herbs sort of become a natural way to get microbial diversity in your gut to support the intelligence of that plant and the biochemistry of that plant and the potency of that plant to support our optimal health. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Biard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John DeYard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.